My name is Svetlana, I'm a guitarist and we are Obscorp, an alternative metal and cybercore band from Kyiv, Ukraine. There are five of us in the band. Max and Daria are vocalists, Dmitro is our drummer, Paolo is our bass player and I'm a guitarist, as I already said. Dmitro, our drummer, brought us together in 2021. Uh, we used to be called NAFTA, but uh, not so long before we decided to release our first song, which is already on all the platforms. I'll tell about uh, it a bit later. Uh, we realized that there are already too many artists with, um, with the name NAFTA and uh, it will be hard for people to find us. So we decided to change our name to Obscorp, which stands for Obscure Corporation. Uh, this uh, name comes from a joke from one of rehearsals when one of the band players said that uh, we are some kind of suspicious crew. And we decided to take it. On the 3rd of May, we released our first uh, single, uh, Zvir, uh, and I'll tell uh, about it a bit later. About our music, uh, we like to experiment with uh, different uh, styles, with different sounds. I guess I can say that we still, uh, um, we're still looking for our unique sound, but we definitely like to experiment. Uh, we like to um, combine uh, heavy guitar riffs with uh, electronic synths, and uh, also we have two vocalists in our band uh, who sing uh, absolutely differently. As example, uh, Daria sings with a clean vocal and uh, uh, Max puts in uh, rap elements. And we combine uh, two different styles of uh, vocal too in practically every song. What comes to inspiration, uh, we... We draw inspiration from the music we listen, from, um, I don't know, from almost everything that happens uh, around. Uh, also, all the band members have absolutely different uh, music tastes and uh, it uh, really helps to, to create uh, the unique sound uh, to which we are going to. And uh, I hope uh, in the future we will uh, get the sounds and uh, it uh, will be recognizable. Well, at the moment it is really hard to plan anything. And uh, concerts uh, too. Now there are Pretty lot of uh, gigs mm, every uh, every week in Kyiv. Uh, you can choose where you uh, want to come, uh, but again, uh, air raid can happen, uh, shelling can happen, power outage can happen, and um, it will of course, uh, of course, lead to a pause in a concert. Uh, so it is really hard to work right now, to plan to make concerts, but uh, anyway, people still organize uh, the gigs and uh, people go to the gigs before because they uh, want to relax, they want to listen to their favorite music, to support some local bands uh, which they like. Uh, uh, what comes to the atmosphere, uh, it's it's good, it's uh, nice. Uh, some bands have uh, a bigger uh, auditory, so people, uh, so um, more people uh, go on their concerts. Some are less, but uh, anyway, there are 
there are still a lot of people on the concerts, but of course it uh, depends. Uh, as example, uh, we are a small with a starting band. Uh, we still don't have that much listeners, and usually there are not so many people uh, in the uh, at the gig who came um, just on us. If the band uh, is uh, small, uh, there is a chance that uh, not so many people will uh, attend it. Right now are uh, really hard times for the Ukrainian metal scene because even before the war, even before the Russian invasion, it was very hard to, uh, to gather listeners, to find the uh, people who will uh, like your music and support you. And now it's uh, way, way harder to, um, to get recognizable. A lot of musicians, uh, came to war, joined the army. Some just left because they have to get money just to leave. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, new bands are also appearing, new artists too. And it's uh, actually uh, very good that no matter what, people still do what they like, they, what they uh, want. Of course, uh, a lot of good bands also broke, uh, broke up because of the reasons I already said, that someone can't uh, do music now, some join the army, uh, and uh, so on. Uh, but anyway, um, even though it's really hard to... Um, to get known, uh, bands still do what they can to find their listeners, to find their place on Ukrainian scene. And uh, as I already said, uh, concerts happening, new music being released, new albums uh, appear. Uh, and uh, I think it is good, but it's definitely not easy and it won't be easy because of the situation we live in. Um, there are air raids, uh, shellings, uh, there might be power outages and uh, of course all these things uh, prevent us to plan ahead properly and uh, do uh, what we would like to do. Yes, so we just uh, released our first uh, single uh, on the May 3rd. Uh, and it's called uh, Zvir. In English, it means beast. And this song is about uh, people who decide to hide their own true personality behind a mask. People can do this because of so many reasons. Like, they are afraid that uh, their true self uh, won't be uh, understood or they want to be liked by someone and pretend to be someone else and to achieve uh, such goals people can wear different masks and hide their true self their inner beast inside contain it but the truth is that uh, not so many people succeed in this and sometimes the inner beasts uh, take over and uh, there might be consequences of it, uh, both good or not so good for the people around and for the human who, who decided to hide their personality. 
and our songs is telling about uh, the emotions which uh, uh, one can feel when uh, he or she decides to hide their own personality. We worked uh, really uh, long on this song and uh, I really like how it turned out and uh, there's definitely a lot more new music in making. We already have uh, nine songs, uh, only one of it, uh, Zvir, is uh, recorded and we plan to record other eight and release them, of course. Uh, right now we are working on our next single, Polonenie uh, Drotu, and we, we, will, uh, we will record a clip on it too, so I think it would be interesting. Right now we don't plan to record an album or an EP, uh, we for now think that we will release our songs as singles. <laughs> Well, we want to go forward, we want to write new music, release new music, uh, we want to perform on some famous Ukrainian festivals and of course we are working on it. We achieved one of our goals, we have uh, our own studio where we can record demos, uh, rehearse, and actually right now we are recording an interview here. So we plan to go forward, grow as musicians, uh, grow as a band, and uh, we hope that everything will work out. <laughs> Even though people go to work, uh, do what they usually do, it's a really hard time for uh, all our country. It's uh, pretty quiet in Kyiv right now, but anyway, we still have air raids, we still have uh, shellings, and uh, air raid can happen during the night. And uh, of course, we all have to go to shelter. And uh, yes, we don't get uh, en enough sleep. And still, we have to walk. We have to go uh, forward. In other cities, uh, situation is uh, actually worse. Like an example in Kharkiv, which is being shelled uh, every day, uh, multiple times uh, a day. And uh, it is uh, very scary and sad because uh, people die. So even if it seems like uh, it's all right in Kyiv, it's definitely not like this. We just uh, try to go on, work, do what we do because uh, we don't have anything else to do. We can't just sit and uh, say that, uh, okay, we're done. No, we have to do something. We have to help our army. As musicians, we have to support people with our music. Uh, particularly, it's uh, one of the reasons why our songs are all in Ukrainian, because it's important to uh, support our own language, our, our own culture, and uh, promote it to, to anyone we can. So, uh, if you want to help, please spread the word about the real situation in Ukraine. Uh, you also can uh, help uh, by donating, by trusted uh, funds, uh, because it's really important to us. Thank you very much for this interview. It was very interesting and we hope that uh, a lot of people will see it.
Thank you. Компромиссом и собой Душа сути